Hey guys, <clears throat> throat's still a little hoarse, but should be okay. I'm feeling a little bit better. I got a lot of rest today. Took a day, a sick day off work. Puzzle again today. Uh, just got, regarding this contest, I just got the notification today that the, uh, I think at the end of the week here, we're going to, uh, the submission form is going to open up to be able to guess the notes. And there's only four notes there. And the, the four cent notes, but the scribblings that I've made with the notes that I've been picking up are like twice that. And so I'm just discerning things that maybe aren't there at all. So it's been tough to winnow that down in hopes that I've picked the right four. You've also got to choose the percentages, how, how much of the accord is, is a certain note, you know, and the closest guess wins. So I'll do my best. Um, and I'll definitely, after the contest closes, share my, uh, my list. I'll share the four that I submitted as well as the other ones that I thought I picked out from it. All right. Well, I'll tell you one thing about this soap. It is going down. I, I can see the indention much quicker than just about any other soap that I've got, uh, that I've been using. Um, so that's interesting. Oh, Hey. Good. See, I'm glad we had this talk. I thought I weighed it at the very beginning. Um, I've put about seven uses in it or something like that. I haven't weighed it yet. So, no time to start like the present. And this part, bottom of the tub, as well as the soap, is 128 grams. We'll try again. Oh, wait. Let's... uh zero it out there we go 148 yeah got to zero that thing apparently 148 148 all right so there we go the other gear in today's shave is a a great knot that i've i've been really happy with a thater this is the 4125 and i think it's the size four uh, it's a traditional handle. It's a little short for bowl lathering, but I want to put it through, through some uses. See if I want to keep it with this handle or transplant the knot into another one. It would be a shame because this is a really neat, though stubby, uh, black handle. Uh, well crafted, it seems. Now, here's the new bit for today. This is a Feather Artist Club SS. I guess these are just called the Artist Club instead of Shavettes. I think the Shavettes are, uh, you use the DE blade split in half for most of those Shavettes. Um, so, and I think Shavette technically belongs to the Dovo Shavette. It's like Band-Aid. We're using that brand to apply to other adhesive bandages. And I think specifically Shavette does mean just the Dovo, but I think a lot of shavers have started to use Shavette to re represent any of the replaceable blade straight razor type uh, configurations. But I don't know. I don't think the AC, the Artist Club, is called a Shavette, but maybe, maybe it is. I don't have a lot of experience with straights, maybe six or seven uses. Um, but here is the Artist Club. It's all solid on the one side and you can see the uh, the break on that side because there's a pivot. Uh, we'll look at the anatomy at the end of the shave but basically this is like a, a spring clip right here. If I squeezed it it would open up the top part and we could pull the blade out. And just like a normal straight it's closed for transportation and storage and then you can open it for any of the normal straight uh, type configurations, that sort of thing. So, had pretty good luck with normal straights. Um, and so hopefully I'll do well with the AC Artist Club. The nice thing about these guys, of course, there's no stropping or honing or anything like that. If you want the straight experience, I've heard 
that these are a little better than the Chevettes, the ones with the DE blades, because the blades are longer. Uh, you know, it just maybe I've heard good things about this. I don't remember the specifics, but uh, in terms of replaceable blade stuff, I've heard these are pretty good. So I got a good deal on this one and decided to give it a shot. I'm grateful for the opportunity. I am going to switch hands. I'm right-handed, but when I do the left side of my face, I'll switch to the left. At least that's my goal. All right, I've got my brush soaking. I will douse my face in a little bit of water. Twenty-four hours of growth, maybe just an hour or two less, actually, but should be fine. And I'm going to just do a 30 second load. It's kind of what I've been doing lately with uh, small bore brushes. So let's see how many passes of lather I get with um, this knot holds a lot of water. I am going to shake most of it out like I do with my other brushes. Again, my advice to you guys as a shortcut, leave some water in your brush. Figure out a way to standardize that and that might shortcut you to a, a quicker lather. All right, it was used, I think, yesterday, so it is a little moist on top. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it, I'm sure it's softer than it would be otherwise. All right, oh, 33 rounded right there, so we'll go to 03, and that'll be 30 seconds. Now, this is the bulb shape. Thater brush. Thaters are a little bit expensive, but I got a great, superb deal on this one, and I'm really grateful. Um, I, I've been experimenting with the higher quality silver tips. I have a Shave Mac as well, but it is not a silver tip. It's the finest badger, the two band. Yeah, two band. Oh, actually, I think it's called a two band silver tip, but I'm interested in getting a three band silver tip from them. Uh, I have a good selection of the uh, three bands that are kind of the budget good but budget friendly uh, Macedo is one of my favorites whip dog whipped dog and uh, golden nib are terrific silver tips so we got that loaded up I think we're ready to start mixing got my Quintero lather bowl got the star in there with ridges interned lip that's actually to me more important than the ridges right size too this is the xl version of what you uh, see in the link to my in my video description you'll see the url for the plans for this if you have a 3d printer or access to one the tips on this silver tip have curled a little bit hooked just a little bit when I picked it up today, it was dry because I haven't used it in a while. And they had hooked. They were a little crispy feeling, so that's interesting. Some silver tips don't do that. Matter of fact, I haven't encountered any other ones, I, th I think. Some of the finest badger brushes do because they have been treated. Oh, silly me, I didn't get down my gear here medicine dropper because um, just with the water that was in the brush look at the kind of early lather that we've got definitely different than the bores I'm gonna go ahead and put in two teaspoons of water starts out airy and bubbly and that's normal when you add a big amount of water or when you come into a lather with a dripping brush or a really wet brush. But generally, the secret is just to keep on mixing. See if I was able to pick up enough lather with these soft tips as I pick up with the bore brushes that are quite a great deal smaller in diameter. The handle is going to get a little slippery because it's so short.
those require these slippery short handles do require a little bit more uh, finger strength because you don't have anything coming back for these fingers to grab onto with the uh, longer kind of more ergonomic handles like this guy right here he's superb so if you have hand issues uh, medical or, or whatever and you need something a little easier to hold then those longer barber style handles are going to really help you out now another thing obviously that you can do flip on the water stream i point the brush a little bit up and then i just kind of rotate the brush kind of like this with the water going on the handle and that makes it easier to grab for a little while at least not a whole lot of lather jumping out right here Go ahead and add a little bit more water. If this turns out to wash it out, then no big deal because I can just load a little bit more soap. But it may turn out to be what the lather needs to expand more gain in volume. Milk steak, this is the base here, it can take quite a bit of water. It's a good soap base like that. Reasonably creamy and not really drying if you uh, don't put as much water in it. But it can take quite a bit. Get very elastic, beautiful lather. Fluid, dripping off your brush and still not be dripping off your face. Pretty cool. Yep, volume has increased. Let's add just a bit more water. I do have hard water here. And I'm using cold for now, but because I spend several minutes mixing, it has usually changed to lukewarm or tepid by the time I get around to putting it on my face especially with the smaller bore brushes one of the things guys like about badgers sometimes is the heat retention if you're a warm lather user then badgers will keep that lather heat much better than the bores will i just shave with cool tepid so it doesn't matter to me oh yeah there we go. We've got the quantity we need, and I think I'm going to even add more water than that. I feel like adding a half refilling, so that's four and another half. So four and a half teaspoons. And I bet that I'm gambling that that's going to be perfect. This lather looks terrific. Plenty of it. See how that wall there collapsed right there? Look at that flexibility. It's 
pull up from the side. Oh, you know what? I had some kind of slide off of another section. So I think I may need to mix for just a little bit longer. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go for that. This looks like it didn't have a problem pulling up soap from the tub. Wasn't The tips weren't too soft, is what I'm saying. Uh, splash water on my face. All right. Let's lather up. See how this brush does. Often the three bands don't have as much. Backbone has the two bands. Okay, look what's happening. Kind of dissipating on my face here. There's still some around the brush, but there's none in the middle. So what you can do, sometimes that means you're a little too thin. Just depends. And that's the benefit of having the bowl. I can just go back and get some more. Yeah, this looks like it's on the on the thin side of the world. We'll see if it's uh, kind of too thin or just kind of in the thin side of perfect, you know, inside the nice and awesome part of the spectrum, just maybe on the thin end of it. Brush, very comfortable. Some might call it floppy. It's definitely moving around. It's easy to splay. Um, two bands will often be very good at keeping those tips, those nice soft tips, focused at your face. And I don't think this brush is doing that. I think it's kind of folding over in some cases and all that. Yeah, this is thinner, <laughs> thinner than usual. I may have not, I may have had a little water in my beard be honest so now, if you have a lot of time and you just enjoy the brush on your face and you have a thin lather just keep on going just kind of massage your face with it air will come in and uh, a little bit of that water will evaporate the lather will slowly thicken up just a hair so sometimes that's a, a fun way to go if you've got the time all right so this will be a test to see how protective this soap is when it's on the thin side. Looks like it may be on the too thin side. Now sometimes straight shavers instead of the DE, uh, double edge blade shavers, uh, straight shavers need a thinner lather. So this could be a, a good thing. We'll see. With my glasses, it's very hard to know line up that first stroke this is dead simple my friends this is going very well it seems very comfortable I don't, I didn't do any research prior to this shave with which of the blades, you know, are kind of the most popular among the AC shavers. I'm taking my time. I'm watching my direction here. Still mo mostly, I'm playing it conservatively as well. Um, if in error, I am erroring on the narrower angle side where it's more 
uh, likely to just not cut instead of, you know, scrape or cut my skin. All right, now let's switch over here. I feel like I can move pretty fast with it. So it's very comfortable. It feels uh, like a consistent Oh, no, see, I need to, I went back to my right hand. The edge feels like a nice, consistent cutting experience. I recommend short strokes on the neck. since you have curvature and shorter strokes, at least with me, let me adjust for the curvature as I go. Instead of longer strokes, you have to dynamically change uh, in the right time frame as you change the curve of your neck. Now with this stroke, I think this uh, straight style is often used. Ooh, that could be a nick right there. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Now, are we done? Is that? I think we are. Well, because I am, uh, nothing's bleeding, so cool. Um, well, maybe because I've had a few straight shaves and I'm familiar with some of the hand motions and things to a small degree, but this was an easy jump into that type of shaving. And while I think maybe the shavettes have some disadvantages that straight razors don't have, and so I think they could be a detractor against straights, or at least not a very good entry, it's not an entry level straight, let's put it that way. It's just different. And uh, however, this guy was so consistent and firm, I, as long as I end up with a nice close shave, I'm uh, very impressed. All right, so, rinse. Now one of my tricks of a wet lather, if it's a little more wetter, more wet than you would like, dry your face between the pass. After you do your rinse, dry your face especially your goatee, and then part of the moisture from the lather will be soaked up by your skin and your lather will be just a little drier. This is a fairly floppy brush. It's big, it's long. Wonder how it would change if I added a an o-ring to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and massage a little bit just to maybe dry out. I did see just a little bit of blood right up here. My approach angle must have just been a little wrong. You know, if I got my droplets here to fall on my shirt right, I could have Nike swooshes everywhere. All right, here we go again. Now, if you're extremely new to this kind of thing, some good advice that I've heard from some plenty of other people is just do your cheeks with your straight or with your shave head or your AC. Just your cheeks only. Finish the rest with a, a safety razor. And, uh, and then you can get the feel in the easiest part of your face. Get used to muscle memory, withholding the thing, and all that stuff. See, I don't even feel any hairs to cut, so that's good.
haven't yet learned my how my edging technique I want to do on my next to my goatee. I don't know if I want to come in or go out or what. Oh yeah, this is the um, oh yeah, there's a little weeper there. Um, this is the cross cross grain pass. So let's go ahead and do that. Definitely some blade feel. You know you're dealing with a razor. At least now I do. Maybe it was a little nicer in the first pass, but that could be because the, uh, the stubble was kind of uh, protecting my skin a little bit more. Now that less stubble is there, uh, I'm getting more of the blade feel. That's my theory. You try now with the neck. If you've got fat rolls like I do, little creases, then be very careful not to have this guy go in parallel with that, because that's so many times that's given me some irritation and often a nick. So I'm going to tilt it slightly so that it. Part of it goes over that before the rest of it does. It's definitely slower shaving since I'm new to uh, this method. Now with normal straights, you, uh, I hear that sometimes people don't even rinse them as they're using them. They have a hand towel on the counter and they just wipe the soap off. That way they don't risk getting water inside the joint of their razor or anything like that. Now some people do rinse and they just are careful, but that is something to be concerned about. Less so with this kind of guy, I think. Definitely plenty of stubble right there that needs to be worked on. And rinse. And again, because of my wet lather, I and I would classify this one as too wet. Uh, usable, slick. It's protecting my skin for the most part, I think. I right, went ahead and dry it off my face. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. Brush feels nice on my face. And the water does feel cool because this badger is kind of keeping that temperature. It's kind of nice because my skin's just a little irritated from the shave so far. So that cooling is uh, healing, feels good. All right, so third pass, and I'm just gonna do with the grain again. Since I think I've gotten pretty good shave here and maybe I don't even need to do a third pass definitely using a good balm 
today. But I'm very uh, glad to be able to try this. There are some cheek areas that have really, really gotten a close shave where I don't even see the hair tips. They've just gotten cut so nicely. Oop, there's a nick right there. Probably just moving a little, a little carelessly. I've got a mole right there that man sometimes really is a problem. Now I'm gonna go into my lather bowl here. Put a little bit more lather in that area right there. Now with a DE, I would come at it uh, from this angle mostly, and then at the third pass from down up to this way. That's a little harder to finagle with the uh, with the shape of, of razor. It's not bad, not bad. All right, switch to the other hand for the other side of the world. Maybe slow down just a hair. And then remember about the skin troughs over here that I may I need to make sure that I cross correctly. Continuing to have try to have a light touch. Again, I'm kind of new to this, uh, this style of shaving. It's my first artist club attempt and maybe my seventh or eighth, this kind of configuration, including straights, you know. So I definitely have a couple of nicks over here. I think I was maybe trying to get something underneath and the toe of it. I wasn't careful and it just it got a little too high into a another area all right you know I'm actually pretty happy with that I do see some length on a good many tips down there but we're not going to irritate anything to chase those down now so this is the uh, Schick Proline P30 blade we'll look at that at the end of the shave I'll show you the mechanics of the razor so now um, I'm going to rinse, but first we will show you how much lather we have left. So this is kind of that bulb shaped brush, very flexible, lots of splay, kind of mop like. Some people do not like that. I haven't yet decided if this is a little too moppy for me. I did add too much water maybe one teaspoon too much but it sure looked like you could take it so, but my bad i need to eat a little bit better about that um how much exactly here there we go i could probably do another pass with that um but in the future i think maybe i'm gonna load 30 seconds um maybe too little Maybe a 40 second load and then maybe a one teaspoon less water uh, or so. Maybe keep the water the same if I increase 10 seconds on the load. So that sounds about like a good, good guess for next time. So I just finished drying off this brush and I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. You can kind of see some a clumping of the tips and now that I know that the tips when they're dry have hooked just a little bit so now I know that's the gelling of the tips and um, 
some of the two band because they've been treated with uh, bleach or something uh, some of the two bands will gel so that's advantageous to a lot of people uh, a lot of people prefer that um, uh, but I haven't seen too many three bands that do that but nonetheless you can see kind of the clumping and and then those uh, tips will start to uh, hook as they um, as they dry but you can see how it keeps its shape if you want to move it around um, not not a whole lot of backbone there I kept my face unrinsed from this last pass because I just wanted to show the extent of any bleeding that sort of thing I do feel a little irritation various places one spot right there has got um, a little bit of blood there's a touch very tiny bit down here and then right next to this uh, darker spot is another but it's very minimal so I do feel some irritation but in terms of the damage it's not too bad and this guy he stopped pretty early on um, all by himself now I got some uh, dang it things are slippery I have some of this Chatillon Luke's Gratio League Square this is the old style salve and I had to mix it up with the back end of my toothbrush because the old style tended to separate after a while. I think he's modified his formula a little bit. But um, I still enjoy it and it works well. I like to uh, rub it between my fingers for a little while before I put it on my face. And then that way I can just smooth it on. It's very rich. Um, I don't think it's greasy feeling just heavily moisturized and if you move slow if you have enough on your fingers then I don't irritate my uh, you know kind of freshly irritated areas here Let's see uh, any more we have on the toothbrush love the smell of GLS Gray Show League Square I think he improved his formula. I probably said that already. To where you don't have to reintegrate it. But if you do have the old formula, that's all you do. You can take a toothpick or, you know, <coughs> what I did. Good to go. Well, for a first time with the AC, I'm really happy with the closeness today. And with a lot of jobs, I think I could walk in and nobody would notice anything. And I think that's impressive for me. Um, with the first time. And with very little experience with straights and, and those sort of things. Uh, comfort? Pretty good. I mean, I still feel some of these little spots down here, but I got a feeling in about seven minutes, I'm not going to feel them at all. Um, so, so that's cool. Now, let's take a look at the uh, makeup here. You know, like I showed you earlier, it does close just like a normal straight. It does say feather on one side of the handle. And on the other side, it says made in Japan. So to change the blades out, I just squeezed the back of this, just pinch, and it just fell right out. And this is the Artist Club blade. It's very similar to the injector blade, it's just longer. So it's a single, single edge on the top here, you can see the bevel. That's all there is to it. And again, this one is the uh, Schick Proline P30. So now we've got a harmless razor because it's bladeless and you can see if I pinch it you can see where you would stick the blade uh, I guess to clean it or other stuff you um, push in because that defeats the spring see right here push in and then go up then it lifts off because it's on 
these little posts right here go into holes right there. And then there's the spring to keep the tension. I didn't notice any problem at all with the tension uh, giving or anything like that. So here's what the inside of the, uh, the one plate looks like. And this groove at the very bottom is very large and, and that's to accommodate the spring. The blade sits on this tiny ledge and against this face right there. And on this side you don't notice anything until you turn it around. And this is of course where the blade sits. So there's your razor tour of the Feather Artist Club SS. There's one called a DX as well. I think it's cheaper. I'm not sure. So to replace, uh, first actually, you know what? I'm going to dry it off, but um, I'll just go ahead and show you now. We'll put it on with a little bit of height to it so that the, we can those pins can drop into those holes and it just snaps into place, ready to go. And so again, we can press in and lift and it just lifts right off. So I'll put that over here on my cloth to, to dry it out before I reassemble. Okay folks, um, four and a half teaspoons of water today, a little too much, maybe go with three and a half next time or increase the soap load. Uh, to have a little bit more margin, I think I'd rather increase the soap load, maybe keep it at four and a half. Oh yeah, that Gratio League Square, man, that smells good. That's a very intelligently designed scent. I like it a lot. All right, guys, um, I sure hope there's been something good here for you today. Uh, I sure learned about the Artist Club. And... Um, I keep thinking about the Thater. It is kind of floppy and moppy. Um, so I'll maybe use it a few more times, but uh, it might even be a little too floppy for me. We'll see. All right. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. You take care. Good night.